Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the Sims 3 to Sims 4 series where we are recreating the Sims 3 families and their homes in the Sims 4. So today we are recreating our last single Sim of Sunset Valley, which is Miss Erin Kennedy. And you know what? Since I'm so obsessed with this series, I'm actually probably two weeks ahead by the time I am uploading this because I just can't stop. <laughs> so when I built this house and created Erin in The Sims 4, it was actually a week it was the week of the announcement for Strangerville. And as many of you know, Erin Kennedy, if you don't, I'm about to tell you a little bit about her. But she is in the military career branch. So I love how everything lined up perfectly for me to release this video and this be her week. So in case you need a family to move to Strangerville, I have the perfect sim for you that has a lot of history and a lot of fun you know, aspects about her. So, a little bit about Erin Kennedy. Obviously, she is a pre-made adult sim introduced in The Sims 3 who lives alone in Sunset Valley. According to her biography, Erin is a new resident to Sunset Valley in accordance with a transfer in her job in the military career. Because she is a new resident, the only sim she knows is her employer who may be anyone working in the military at the start of the game. Her skills consist of athletic and handiness and her life essentially is her career as inferred by such skills as well her as well as her initial wish to work out. Um, so a little biography, a little bit more detail says, Erin Kennedy is a long-term military career woman who has recently transferred to town. Making friends has always been difficult for her and she worries that things might be the same in this town. Will her fears come true? And like I said, she is in the military career and so she is level four, which is a squad leader. She is single, she is an adult, she's brave, she can't stand art, she's a technophobe, she's unflirty and she's athletic. Her lifetime wish in The Sims 3 was to become an astronaut. And a little fun fact, which I thought was kind of weird, but apparently in her inventory, the only book in her inventory is a pregnancy book in The Sims 3 called Totally Preggers, An Expecting Mother's Tale. And she lives alone. She isn't pregnant. So I don't know why she has that book. Maybe she has um, kind of like this want and desire to be a parent because um, she's so lonely. I, I could definitely see her adopting a child. She is unflirty and I did make her unflirty in The Sims 4 since we have that trait. So it's probably not going to be very easy to have her open up and have a relationship. But anyways, I think that she is so beautiful. I don't really know what her ethnicity is. I couldn't figure it out. But I think she's beautiful. I think my little recreation of her turned out so nice. And she is an adult, which I usually, honestly, when I start a game, I don't typically play with adults because I like to start them as a young adult. But I think what's cool about her being an adult is the fact that she's kind of seasoned. Do you know what I'm saying? She kind of has, you know, this feel for life. She's in the military career. She's moved around a lot. And I tried to portray that in her house a lot. So... I really like her. I like how she turned out. I love how her house turned out. And I think that she would be perfect for you if you needed a family or a sim with a little bit of a backstory to add to Strangerville once you get the game. I'm not really sure if her house technically um, would look very good in Strangerville. I don't think it really meets the aesthetic but hey you can download the sim if you want but her house is really cute and um as simple as it is it's very small it's one bedroom one bath i think it took me forever <laughs> to build this house just because the roofing on this house was so freaking weird and i could not figure it out so as you can see we have that nice little roof right there which is called a i think it's called a mansard roof is the appropriate term for it and I know that you can make those in The Sims 4 but I didn't really know how I've never created or built a house with that kind of roof and I didn't really want to learn because I was like I don't want to struggle with this I'm going to like build it and just go through so I tried to put my own little roof on there and just it didn't work it looked completely weird because of the layout and structure of this house so I actually had to look up a YouTube video tutorial on how to do a mansard I think I'm saying that right roof but anyways I'm glad I did because it looks so much better and yeah I think it turned out really really nice but like I said her house is perfect for her I tried to kind of um 
give it the personality where it looks like she travels a lot. Um, so I, I tried to portray that in her house. So I really do like her house. I think it has a lot of character and fits her perfectly. But like I said, um, I don't think this house would... I mean, it might. I don't know. I haven't seen Strangerville yet. So I'm not really sure what the surrounding area, the neighborhoods look like. This house looks kind of perfect for Willow Creek. Willow Creek, if that came out weird. Willow Creek, to me, it fits in perfectly. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it might fit in with one of the neighborhoods. Um, or one of the, yeah. There is, I think they said today, they announced that there is two neighborhoods to play in Strangerville, which is really cool. So, that's exciting. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this house will work perfectly. I do want to do a Let's Play um, for Stranger like a little mini LP so I can kind of like explore Strangerville and I don't know if I'm going to use Aaron Kennedy I probably won't but I might I don't know we'll see <laughs> I haven't decided yet but I think it's going to be a lot of fun but I just think it's just perfect timing that the military career came out the same exact time I was creating her and there's a few other sims that I have yet to create in this series from Sunset Valley who are in the military career such as I know uh, the Bunch family the father uh, Jack Brunch I believe is his name I know he is in the military career as well so I think that's perfect but as far as her house goes um, it is small like I said and I tried to give it the appearance as far as the landscaping that it's a little bit overgrown which is why I put those nice little shrubs right there I love those shrubs I love to size them up it kind of makes everything look a lot fuller and I think it turned out so pretty it just looks like one of those old houses kind of you know Willow Creek is inspired fun fact in case you didn't know off of New Orleans and Creole type cottages and houses um, and I am very familiar with New Orleans it's probably like an hour away from where I live I've been there a few times we actually have houses similar to this in the downtown area where I live where they're kind of like historical houses they're old but they're maintained and well kept and that was kind of the vibe that I was going for with this house um, since it does blend in so nicely with Willow Creek so I tried to make it kind of look like the outside was a little bit overgrown, but the inside, you can tell it's kind of been renovated. Um, it's kind of, I wouldn't say, uh, like, completely remodeled, but they have kept it up. So, she does move around a lot, so I imagine that, obviously, she would just have a, a small little house, and there wouldn't be too much clutter, because, like I said, she just, she moves around a lot. So, I think this house is perfect for her and so um, I also noticed that while I was furnishing the house because it's kind of small I was like oh, oh my gosh it's towards the end of the video or yeah I think I was editing yeah I was like oh crap I did not put a computer in the house and I was like dang it and then I was thinking to myself I was like we well, you know She's actually a technophobe. I found that out when I was looking at Erin Kennedy on Sims Fandom. And I was like, okay, well, she's a technophobe, so that makes sense. I did give her a TV, but that's okay. We don't have the technophobe trait in The Sims 4, so it's really not a big deal. But anyways, I was like, okay, well, that'll be my excuse for not giving her a um, computer because she's a technophobe. And also, like, the main reason is because <laughs> there's no, there was no room to put a desk at all. And I was thinking, man... I wish we had laptops and then guess what <laughs> they announced strangerville and they are giving us laptops with the game pack so that is really cool so if you want to have her have a computer you can get her a nice little laptop oh you guys i'm so excited to have laptops y'all don't even know to have little laptops that are portable hopefully we can stick them in our inventory i'm sure we can just like we could in the past generations of the game oh uh, that is so awesome i love it because Sometimes when I'm furnishing houses, I'm like, okay, I, there's not enough room for like a desk area. I don't have a separate office, you know, and I don't want to put the desk in the hallway. I don't want to put the desk in the living room because it's kind of crowded and doesn't look good. But sometimes I have desk in the children's room or the parents' room and they can each have their own laptop now, which is perfect. I'm so excited about that. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, so her house um, here is a little entryway. I pretty much kind of copied the same furniture layout almost <laughs> in her original house in the sims 3 she had a little entryway right here with a little um chair and 
of the bookshelf and then I added these pictures right here the little picture collage which is one of my favorite pictures in the Sims 4 but it just kind of reminded me of um, Erin like traveling a lot and maybe she's into photography and she takes a lot of pictures and just to keep memories of the places that she's traveled being in the military career and right there I did give her that nice little shelf with the <laughs> with the dog leashes on it and she doesn't have a dog in The Sims 3 because um, it's the base game we didn't have pets but since she is a single sim who travels a lot and I imagine that it gets very very lonely it says in her biography she has a hard time making friends I definitely see her having a dog if I was to play her I'd give the poor girl a dog or something just so she'd have some company you know what I'm saying um, and the dining room right here is like kind of small so I use that small table right here and I think it's so cute the layout of this house is so unique <laughs> and that's I think that's one of the main reasons I love this series so much is because it makes building so fun I'm able to go outside of my little Pinterest box where I just copy the house plans on Pinterest because I mean I just they're not this unique you know I, I don't know it's just kind of like basic but this in the Sims 3 in the Sims games in general their layouts are different they're nice and they're nice to recreate so I have a lot of fun doing it and here in her kitchen which is actually like a nice size kitchen for the size of this house everything's pretty nice sized I mean it's one bedroom so I imagine that it would be um, but like I said I do think that she wants to have a family one day and I don't know if I, I could see her getting married she is unflirty I don't know what happened in her childhood or in her past or if there's anything that happened to make her that way where she does not want to be in a relationship or she's just really not into romance I, I guess some people I got choked. <laughs> I guess some people are just like that, though. Um, I'm a very, like, romantic person. I've always been into, like, love stories and stuff like that. So, I can't relate. But I guess some people are like that, which is why the unflirty <laughs> trait is so relevant to a lot of people. But, yeah, with her having that book in her inventory, it definitely tells me that she wants a family. And if not you know her meeting somebody possibly in willow creek if you want to add her to willow creek if you want to add her in your sims 4 game to strangerville maybe she'll meet somebody and you know he'll break down those walls and she'll fall in love if not that and she has a child then that way she i could see her adopting for sure especially as she is in the military career she travels a lot right so she probably sees a lot of things i imagine her just being so wise like she is so seasoned because she has all of this experience in her career and traveling so she's probably seen a lot of poverty she's probably seen a lot of homeless um, people she's probably seen a lot of children without families and foster care just because you know the different countries and town that she's lived in with the military so I think that would definitely like influence her and inspire her to maybe one day adopt and help a child out of that environment um, so yeah, I think that is really cool and I don't know, it gives her more of like a fun little story when you kind of think about her and her life and how I would play it out. That's just what I would do, but yeah, her bathroom is what we're working on right now and I think it turned out nice. So her, her house is small and y'all know I have been trying my hardest to add all of the washer and dryer and all of that in the game so the only place that I could find to put that is here in the hallway so I stacked them up and I think it looks it looks nice you know it's a small house you know she doesn't have a lot of room but um she needs to do her laundry you know what I'm saying <laughs> so I put it there in the hallway I think it turned out nice and her bedroom looks really nice as well and also these curtains right here you'll notice if you pay like close attention <laughs> Um, kind of clip so if you go outside and you look you can kind of see the little clipping of it clipping through the wall but it's barely noticeable so I didn't bother with it because I wanted her to have curtains in her room but 
yeah, her room was small. Didn't have a lot of room to fit a lot of things. Like I said, I wanted to put like a computer in there, but I just, I, I didn't think about it until after because I didn't have enough room. And turns out she's a technophobe anyways, but I mean, not really because Sims 4 doesn't have that trait, you know. But anyways, yeah, I think her room is nice. I think the house is nice. I think it's perfect. And as you saw in the living room um, on the fireplace, I added some of the cards that came with Seasons. I just imagine that she probably doesn't have a lot of family, but maybe she does. She just doesn't see them a lot because of her career. I imagine that her friends and family that she has met, um, yeah, her family and her friends that she has met as she has traveled, sends her cards, and that's how she kind of communicates with them. So I put some birthday cards here in her room to, like, kind of signify that, you know, she does communicate with like some friends or whatever and they send her cards, which is really sweet. I added some nice little, um, what are those called? Oh, what are those called? Oh my god, why? Snow globes, there we go. I was like, what? Snow globes. I added some snow globes there. I added some postcards here just to kind of, like I said, signify that she has traveled a lot and she moves around a lot. And I did the same thing in the living room on the fireplace. I put some cards there, more like fall cards. So yeah, I just wanted to give her, you know, a little bit of personality and give her house a touch of personality as well. As far as the exterior of her house or not the exterior the decorations and the outside i just added you know a picnic table and a grill out here and a little bench on the side porch not a lot of entertainment just because she, i just imagine her being a loner and just not having a lot of friends and a lot of people over but that is Erin Kennedy and that is her house I hope you guys liked it if you did and you want to download her she is on the gallery and so is her house so be sure to download them give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it I don't know if I already said that or not but <laughs> subscribe if you haven't and with that being said I will talk to you guys later love y'all bye Send her the heart